Because when I feel totally quiet, and she was bleeding and dying. Hello everyone, this is James from Digital Charcuterie. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you give us a like and a subscribe. And for all of our new subscribers, thank you so much. This channel is growing beyond belief, and I am truly grateful for your support. Today I want to talk a little bit about what is going on in the Snyder verse. The Snyder world is, on one hand, it looks like it's crumbling all around us. On the other hand, it is it looks like it is going to be fruitful but let's break this all down and see what exactly is happening and again i am just the messenger so please give me a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are um so let's get right into it shall we look it looks like the flash movie has had test screening at least a one test screening i've heard from an email maybe two or, or more i don't know but i've heard I've heard that there is the rumor that zod kills baby uh Superman in it. Uh, I haven't got confirmation on that, so I can't say one way or another if that happens, but it looks like Supergirl is going to be our uh, Kryptonian going forward, regardless of the outcome uh, of that. I don't really know. In regards to the Snyderverse, here's what's happening. The Snyderverse uh, is canon. They're keeping the Snyderverse what it is going forward, so whatever happens in those Zack Snyder movies, uh, that's all factual. That all happens in, this, in, in, in the DC. However, what The Flash is doing is it's kind of setting that aside, and they're going in a different direction a new a route which i mean it makes sense it's hard to describe but it does make sense when you are wb as messed up as it's all been over there it makes sense what they're doing is they're trying to get back on a trajectory and this is their trajectory of what they're doing uh, and they want to separate themselves from the Snyderverse, rightfully or wrongfully, I don't agree with it, but you know, that's how it is. So they want to go forward and do their own thing. So that's where they're heading with that. But at the same time, they're not going to cancel out what happened in the Snyderverse because obviously that fandom, Snyderverse fandom is massive. As Ray Porter says, it can move mountains. And it looks like maybe that's what's going on here is the moving of mountains because maybe uh, there was a plan to kind of get rid of it, sh shuffle it off to the side. And now it's going to be at the forefront. They're going to use that as a stepping stone to elevate themselves and continue the story further. With that being said, how does the Snyderverse fit in? Does Henry Cavill return as Superman? Not likely yet. However, if, if you've the comics kid on Twitter, you'll know that Casey Walsh has been talking about the crisis of infinite Earths uh, for a while now, and this seems to be where DC is heading. And this is all seems to be tying into this Green Lantern HBO Max show. Uh, they've just a, reportedly cast Game of Thrones star and also Rome star. He was great at Rome if you haven't seen him. Tobias Menzies as Sinestro, and that could all lead into the Crisis on Infinite, er on Infinite Earths storyline plotline that they are going to eventually come to and that would be the purpose of keeping the Snyderverse intact and keeping those actors around uh, that eventually you come to this huge culmination and bring all of your worlds together in a massive event that could supersede what Marvel does it could take over what Marvel I mean Marvel's doing something like that with Doctor Strange but this could be that to the nth degree they could really really blow Marvel out of the water with an event like that the unfortunate aspect of this and the plausibility is that those Snyder properties the Snyderverse is going to be kind of left dormant for a while until we get to that. So you'll always hear rumors of Batfleck and Henry Cavill and whatnot. And Aquaman and Wonder Woman are going to live in the Shazam world, the Black Adam world, which Black Adam's going to introduce the Justice Society of America, which is going to, that's all going to lead right into the, this crisis event. And I think when they said a couple months ago that they had a game plan, I think this was what it was. It was getting towards this, where you don't necessarily disrespect the Snyderverse fans, but at the same time, you know, you kind of dangling a carrot in front of them, and eventually we're going to get to that carrot, but it won't be for a long long time and of course all these other properties have to work out and we have to get there so it's going to be three to five years at minimum minimum possibly even more before we get to that point so you know hopefully they can keep Ben Affleck interested and intrigued going forward but this is where it seems like the Flash is leaving us we are headed for Crisis of Infinite Earths and it looks like it's going to be that could be a lot of fun but we're going to have to uh, get through the next steps of the DCEU, like it or not. So I don't, you might not be along for the ride. I don't know, and that's fine. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Really would, really appreciate all of the comments too. I love to hear it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Just wanted to give a little brief update on what uh, it looks like is happening in the Snyderverse. I, it is canon. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope it continues, uh, but we won't know for a while now. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.